does that every time. He always skips the last two or three steps. I paid for all the steps. I'd like him to use all the steps. You guys see, right? This is called the pet loader. You can get it off Amazon. There's a couple of different sizes. I believe this is the large size. It works great. Fits just perfectly onto the step there and onto the ground. Just takes up a little bit of room, that's all. And I gotta train him to use all the steps. He's supposed to save his joints. He's seven years old now, so he's getting a little older. I'd just rather not have him jump out of the truck once, land on his feet, and you know, hurt himself. I don't wanna get him, I don't wanna have to bring him to the vet, but mostly I don't want him to hurt himself. That'd be terrible, I don't know what I'd do. I think I'd cry. It's not the beautifulest of beautiful days. It's not a gorgeous day, but it's a beautiful day. I mean, hopefully it heats up a little bit yet, but... What you doing there, Diesel? Just sniffing around, man. Sniffing around, there's been another critter here. It could have been a dog, but it might have been a beaver. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Really? He went this way. I'll look for him over here. Nope, can't find him. I'll just mark this so he knows I was here. There we go. Are you ready to do some trucking today, Diesel? Are you ready for some trucking? I am. This is where we woke up. We're at a little roadside turnout rest area. Like I said, just outside the Rockies. So I'm just waking myself up here. It's gonna be a long day today. We're gonna get as close to home as possible. Won't be able to make it all the way there because we're still 1,438 kilometers from home, which is, I don't know, 800 miles. A little too far for one day. So I can drive 13 hours today. We'll see how far we make it. I'd like to at least make it to Balgoni, Saskatchewan to the Flying J there with the funny little roundabouts that shouldn't be there. We'll see. If I can, I'll push it all the way to Brandon, but I'll just have to wait and see. have just been rocketing across the prairies here just gonna rocket ourselves over to this s over here we spent the night here uh, about a month ago or so a little less than that remember that on our way home we're uh, west of swift current still in saskatchewan so we're still about nine ten hours from home i need a coffee i need a little bit of a pick-me-up know what i mean know what i mean diesel do you know what i mean do you know what I mean, man? No? Get ourselves down into here. I also need some kind of snack. I am craving junk food. And I know I probably shouldn't have any, but... <sighs> I'm a weak man. There's a Bud Light can there. Who was drinking in the parking lot? That's not a good idea. Take it from Trucker Josh. Listen to Trucker Josh. Don't drink in the truck stop parking lot. It's just not the place for it. Don't do that. Sort of put 
That's a bad image in people's minds of truckers, you know what I mean? That's what pubs and bars are for. Right, Diesel? I don't know what you're talking about, man. I want to go home. I want to go home, too. We're not going to quite make it home today. But, uh... We're going to get as far as we can. This is still, uh... What is it today? Saturday. Saturday. Your lens up a little bit. share that moment with you oh I love milk especially right before bed oh maybe that's why diesel likes cows so much you must be my boy you must be my boy my adopted boy but my boy nonetheless I got that milk from that Tim Hortons over there that my camera doesn't really want to focus on it's right over there trust me that right behind that blurry truck really this camera doesn't want to focus on anything eh? There, how's that? No? <coughs> Woo! What if I sneeze? Does that help it? No, nope, still not focused. Oh well. We're here in Mooseman, Saskatchewan, on the east side of the province, close to Manitoba. At the co op. I'm gonna stay here for the night. So tomorrow I just have like three and three quarter or four hours to get to our yard. And then I should be home probably. I'm guessing around like 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon, so it shouldn't be too bad. But uh, after this, I don't even remember, I'm so tired right now, I don't even remember if I've talked to you guys about it yet. I'm taking a week off uh, to be at home with Brett. Um, the miscarriage, I hate calling it that, I don't know, what else would you call it, right? But uh, it's been really difficult on her. It's it's her body, right? Uh, it's amazing what women do in childbirth. They they go through a lot, and uh, with this whole situation, I, I can't imagine how it must feel. I honestly I can't understand it. As a man, I will never fully understand women in general, but. <laughs> I'll never understand this process either, all jokes aside. Uh, so, this next week, Tuesday, I just have to take this load into Winnipeg to deliver it. Uh, so I'll be working Tuesday, but then I'll go back home. My truck's going to go into the shop on Wednesday, Thursday, I believe. i got to get my wheel hub, wheel bearing looked at in the front there. I think it's just starting to get a little bit old. I've been having my, keep my eye on it, you know. This thing's got 800 and... Uh, 817,734 kilometers on this bad boy already. That's about 500,000 miles or so. So it's it's not a brand new truck, but uh, it it's not a it's an, well it's not an old truck, but it's not a brand new truck. It's it's not even halfway through its life yet. I, I think this thing can get up to three million kilometers yet. I want to get it past two million for sure. And I put about 200,000 kilometers or so on every year. Which is, uh, what is that in miles? 300,000 would be 150,000 miles. So I'm guessing, what, 120,000 miles a year? Something like that? I don't know. I think in kilometers. I'm Canadian that way. Uh, the metric system just makes a lot more sense in my head. But uh, I know how to do the conversions and stuff. It's interesting. Because when we're talking about weight, I use pounds, not kilograms. But when we're talking about distances, I use metric, kilometers, not miles. But when we're talking speed, I usually speak in miles an hour. So I'm like all over the place. I'm just, <laughs> I'm a little bit of this, a little bit of that. <laughs> uh, but where was it? what was I talking about? Yeah, this truck is going into the shop just to get a wheel bearing looked at. I wanna, I've been having my eye on it. I think it's getting a little, little worn out. So I'm gonna get them to check that out and do a little mini service on the truck. And I'm gonna spend some time at home. Uh, Britt's got to work a couple of days yet this week, but she has a long weekend off next weekend. So I'm going to get the trailer ready during the week, our camper, and we're going to pull it out to uh, her dad's campsite, which is right beside my mom and dad's campsite as well. So our parents will both be there and spend the weekend there. 
just sort of relax around the campfire. Maybe go swimming a little bit. Just hang out. We're having a family gathering with my side of the family at my parents' site, I think on Saturday. And uh, then we'll pull the trailer back Tuesday morning. And I'll probably leave on a trip Tuesday evening or Wednesday. We'll, we'll see. That's the plan for next week. So thanks for joining me today, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Of course, all the regular stuff that every YouTuber always tells you to do. Hit that subscribe button, the like button. If you liked it, don't lie. If you didn't like it, you can give me a thumbs down. That's okay. It won't hurt my feelings. Be honest with me. But you really should give it a thumbs up. And subscribe. I was just reviewing that last clip there, Diesel, and it looks like we got a big mess back here. This looks like a mess. I was digging for something in my bag here. That's why all these clothes are all over the place. That's not my underwear, don't worry. That's my swimming trunks. Just in case. I like swimming too, man. Swimming's my favorite. We gonna go swimming? I think you're excited because I was just talking about going home. Would you like to go home? See mom? See Frankie? Would you like to go see... Chevy? No, just a little tail wag? You like Frankie? How about Frankie? Mom? You wanna go see Mom? You wanna go home? <laughs> I know what you do. First thing in the morning tomorrow, we'll head out. We'll be there tomorrow afternoon and you can play with Chevy and wrestle with him all you want. Right? And we're gonna go camping. Yeah, you're gonna like that. Yeah. Maybe there'll be other dogs there for you to play with. Maybe you can make new friends. Oh. Are you gonna have like, like, like friendly dogs? You're gonna be mean dogs? Oh, Diesel, don't worry. You can take them. I believe in you. Come on, you gotta believe in yourself, man. Be a man. So weird on the camera. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, I just wanted to explain this mess because I, I felt the need to explain it to you. This is not usually this messy. It's the last night in the truck. I promise it'll be clean at the beginning of next week. <laughs>